Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here in a crazy snow-filled field because here in Billings we've got lots of snow right now, but it's kind of fun. And the cool thing is you look out here and thinking, ah, nothing's living right now. Where is everything? Surprisingly enough, the winter time, you can see animals, of course, out and about, but the birds and the mammals and that are still out. But underground, there's a lot of things going on, and it's usually the bugs. And there's a couple of places that you can look for bugs during this time of year when it's nice and cold, and that's an old rotten logs. And I got one right here, and I'm gonna get a little creative here because obviously this is in the middle of the field, so it's not in there. But if we were out in the wild, and we were to either pick this up or kind of dig at it a little bit and get inside, we'd find a whole bunch of bugs. Now. I got a whole bunch of bugs right here. Anybody know what these are? I want to hear it. Cockroaches, I think I heard somebody say. Good job. And these are the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Some of you may have seen these before. They're pretty common here at the zoo. Uh, and we use them a lot for education. Look how cool these things are. We'll talk more about these guys in a minute. However, here in Montana, if you do that, or really anywhere around the world, if you dig into these logs, you're going to find bugs like this. And they're going to race out of that log because they're cold. They want to find warmth. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. Is you notice how they're getting in there. In fact, if you can get in there, you probably can't even see through this log because there's so many cockroaches inside there because they're all trying to keep warm on this cold day. And what's crazy is that the reason they use these logs is because most of these logs in the forest floor are dead logs and they're what we call decomposing. That means that all that material in that log, the wood and all that's breaking down and becoming soil. As decomp decomposition happens, there's a lot of energy in there, a lot of warmth, a lot of heat. And so it's a perfect place to live the winter when you're either a bug like this or maybe a reptile or an amphibian like a frog, they will actually all live in these logs. So it's a great thing to dig through during the wintertime to find all those different species and what they're doing in the wintertime. Now back to these guys, the Madagascar hissing cockroach. What a cool bug they are. Let's get a close up look here. And these guys, of course, as the name suggests, found in Madagascar. It's just off of the coast of Africa. I don't know about you, but I love that movie Madagascar. And you know how silly those animals are in that movie? Well, Madagascar cockroaches are silly and Madagascar has some silly animals. But Madagascar cockroaches, cool. They're called hissing cockroaches because they do just that, they hiss. And the way they, the way they do that is they actually can force air out of these, see these little tiny black holes on the side of their body there, you see those? They actually can force air out of those and it makes a hissing sound. And in the wild, what makes a hissing sound? snakes and that's what he's trying to do he's trying to sound like a snake so other animals say ah! and run away because they think he's a venomous snake but actually he's harmless a lot of things have learned that they're harmless and have learned to eat them so they are very very important on the food chain but get this you may remember me saying before they are important to you because they help you breathe what they do they eat a lot of leaves in the rainforest when they eat those leaves they go out the other end, you know, they go poo, and that actually makes soil that helps the rainforest grow. And if the rainforest wasn't there to give us all the oxygen we breathe in, we'd be done for. So these little critters here, as gross as they might be to you, are so important to have right here in this world. So pretty cool, and you can see them. We have tons of them here at the zoo, so come on by. If you want to see them in person, you need to get out here to Zoo Montana to check them out. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with my buddy, the Madagascar hissing cockroach on a cold winter day. Go out in the woods, dig open some logs, see what you can find in your backyard. Until next time, guys, see you real soon.